director of a theme park in the future, which is um, all about the different cultural traditions of Europe coming together. I was kind of thinking of Europe from an outsider's perspective, because although not me specifically being British, I feel like I'm part of Europe, but slightly to one side. But I was thinking more from like an American or Chinese perspective, people coming to Europe and seeing it um, maybe with some ignorance, <laughs> maybe seeing it as, as more a big lump together, cultural mess than all the individual little identities that we have. Um, and I was actually inspired by a documentary that I saw about tourism in China, <laughs> which is very much more often focused on cultural traditions than our tourism tends to be. I think we take our history quite for granted in Europe because we've never had that well, many of us haven't had that time when we've denied our history and then we've re-embraced it. Um, but I think we're kind of in that space in some respects now when people are forgetting traditions. And, um, and I think that's sad, but it's not the end of the world because new things are good too. <laughs> I think everyone should join us. We should just have a global Europe and embrace all of our differences. But I, I realise that's quite unlikely <laughs> that we embrace things that bring Praise us together. Um, I think it was something that was already happening in the back of my mind. I had this idea that I would like to try out um, Western theme park kind of format, but thinking about traditional uh, crafts and arts, because for me, that's the most interesting thing about tourism is seeing the local traditions, um, the things that are unique to a place that you, you don't get anywhere else and that when you sometimes they become kind of corrupted and they're like cheap versions in, in tacky tourist shops but you've still got people doing the real old traditions hidden away and I've forgotten what I was answering that inspiration yeah so I already had that idea and then it just seemed to be a perfect fit when I saw the brief <laughs> I think it's good to celebrate traditions without corrupting them but you inevitably do corrupt them when you when, when it's tourism but I think it's better to have tourism than to lose them altogether very true and true. I think it's the same with national identities in some ways that we get too carried away with what makes us different instead of focusing on what makes us the same oh, oh, oh.